Look at this buddy, right? Lost in the forest, stuck defending, easily trade off another piece. Now buddy has to bring the bishop back for an easy check. You know, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Uh, I'm going to have to write a complaint letter and send it to him to tell him how I feel. Buddy's blunder was thinking this is a game of chess, right? Sure, there's all the same pieces, the same board. The thing is, this isn't really about checkmate. No, 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 no. That's just what they want you to think. That way, they could figure out your strategy and think about it. How are you going to play chess when the other person uses all your time to play King of the Hill? Chess is weird. Like, in this position, I can hang my knight to threaten the queen. Like, oh yeah, no, sure, go try swimming in the ocean on the highway. Something nice about the knight is the freedom to go to any square on the board. Like, a light-squared bishop could never capture this pawn. Now we're up material, and I'm not really too sure what buddy has planned with their knight, but we gotta protect ours. It's good knight. This opening throws everyone off their game. Like, go ahead, take my knight while attacking my queen. I got a great sales pitch. Blunder, blunder, get your blunders. Worked so well, buddy went home. They, uh, they didn't think losing a pawn could be so deadly. The Jerome Gambit. Yeah, no, that's the opening stockfish says terrible, though it's not so easy when walking your king out is the best option. There's so many tricks and tactics to look out for, especially when the other player plays so confidently. Buddy here got the heebie-jeebies and just resigned in a winning position. Chess is weird. Like, in this position, I can hang my knight to threaten the queen. Like, oh yeah, no, sure, go try swimming in the ocean on the highway. You should always put some thought into your chess moves. Who knows what piece is going to be crucial for checkmate? You don't want to end up like Brylas here, buying a scrap car for a brand new Tesla. Motor's shoddy, brake lines are cut, headlights are doing fine. Though the car, it's totaled. Don't develop your pieces. Here's the thing, everyone's expecting you to develop, right? Throw them off your game, show them a good pawn structure, and when you think about it, horses need lots of exercise to be healthy. So keep it moving. Eat a piece or two for your nutrition needs, of course. Though, this tends to anger people, so you'll probably deal with lots of resignations, really. I don't understand the economics of chess. Like, I paid for checkmate, and I'm getting a bishop and queen back in return. How are they making profit? When people don't resign, it's time to do a good deed. Help them out by looking for the resign button. Thing is, it's not on the chessboard. You'll have them thinking outside the box. You know, like where the tape is. Anyways, it's wild how they think this position's playable, yet this one they resign. I love free movers. Their confidence comes from nowhere. When you switch up the move order on them, they're out the game. Like, yeah, go try speedrunning the library. I'm sure you read a book every millisecond. When you're down a piece, think about your strengths. Like here, I have a great center. I can castle and create attacking chances on the king. Now, this is when you want to go all out. Don't just walk to the store. Walk a marathon. Go to the mall. Try out a fancy bath bomb. Maybe wait until you get home, but hey, no judgment here. When you take people out of theory, anything can happen. Some 1900s won't develop their pieces thinking, maybe I can breathe without lungs. Tactics are too tough to face. Like, yeah, it's great to develop all your pieces, but when you're hit with a move like Queen B6, don't play it as a blunder. Taking that knight leads to a dangerous and complicated messes where black has a much easier time finding moves. Rather than sacking the queen, they resigned. Ben Feingold says to always play King B1. I was kind of skeptical at first making this long journey with my king, though to be fair, he is a grandmaster, so he knows what he's talking about. After some reflection, I figured out why. See, if you look at things from the opponent's board, it kind of looks like the pawns are going up the board, but nope, that's a free queen. So here we are, facing some random name Max Gambit RM. So naturally, I'm like, all right, let's go for something this person's speed. Now, how are you going to name yourself Max Gambit RM and then not even go for the maximum gambit there, bud? To top this all off, buddy's trying to play solid. I'm not even sure they know what a gambit is at this point. So I decide to launch a massive attack. Now, buddy is petrified of this rook when they really should be thinking about the bishop. Upon seeing this disaster, we get a resignation and a waterfall of tears. Good game. What do you think about the game? Chess players are strong. We get put through brutal combinations, accidental blunders, flagging, and what do we do? We rise back up. We move on. We get into the next game. Sure, we may need to rest sometimes. Who wouldn't after making thousands of decisions a day?